My guest today is Mike Woods. Mike is such a freaking rock star. He, through his own quest in health after having over 30 years in the nutritional supplement space and living a very healthy life, doing all the right things, he found out that he had advanced coronary artery disease which set him on a quest. He's like, what gives? Like I exercise, I eat right, I supplement, I do all the things. So what gives? So he went on a research journey and found a very, very simple and research backed approach through supplementation and was able to completely reverse that. He has the coolest story. And, you know, having a background in business, he was like, okay, I gotta do, I, I, this is what I gotta bring to the world. And so I'm so excited to share this with you. It is very compelling. Um, there's research all on the website if you want to look more into it. So if you know anyone who has like arterial plaques, you know, any sort of heart disease, please send them this episode. And then also just for you to consider as a preventative measure in your life, um, really look into this. They've got all the research on the website. The website is for like F O R for heartstrong.com. Um, it's very affordable. It's like a little supplement protocol. It's two different bottles. We'll talk about it. Um, and it's very affordable. And on top of that, they're giving you 10% off as a, you know, sh- a podcast offer. So the 10% off coupon code is coach Tara. And yeah, you can check out their website too. If you want to learn more, um, there's a lot of educational resources, videos, all the, um, s- uh, studies that he mentions in this episode are in there. So um, check it out. I'm excited to share this with you. It's super cool. Here is Mike Woods. Okay. So Mike, I've got, if pe- most people probably aren't watching on YouTube, but if you are, I'm holding up two of your products here from heart strong enzyme blend and vitamin D three and K two. Um, I was introduced to you through my friend, Barton Scott, that some of my people may know from the show. And obviously I'm a huge fan of his company, Upgraded Formulas. And I really, really trust Barton. He's just so deeply immersed in the health industry and also is very intelligent (laughs) and just really checking into things. And so he, I was telling him, um, I was telling him that my son was having some heart irregular rhythms. Um, I think it's like a long COVID thing. And he was like, you know, he's like, you should, I should really introduce you to Mike and just give it a shot. And then when I, you know, did, and I bought them and my son's been taking them, but as I learned more about what you're doing, I was blown away. And so that's why I wanted to have you come talk to my people. So can you share how heart strong, how this came to be? Sure. Absolutely. Um, my, and I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to let everybody know, because it's so important what you do in that we need to let people know the truth. And mm-hmm. there are so many things that are being hidden and covered up and censored and, you know, it's just a crazy mm-hmm. world. So I certainly appreciate it. Appreciate your courage and your heart. Um, yeah, my, my background is in the nutritional space. I've, I've been in all organic supplements for over 35 years. Uh, and as such, I have been, you know, my number one best customer. So I've always taken all organic nutritional supplements, nothing synthetic. You know, I'm very well aware of the of the different things that come up. So I've been taking omega-3 fatty acids and CoQ10 and quercetin and all the things right. So that's my that's kind of my vocational background. But my health background is I have a horrible lineage of heart disease in my family. Uh, my On my mother's side, my grandfather died when he was 42 years old. He just dropped dead in the living room wow. in front of my mom. Very traumatic. Uh, mm-hmm. On my father's side, my, my grandfather died of his third heart attack. And I was the fatal one. My dad's already died once and the paramedics brought him back. Uh, mm-hmm. So I've got this horrible lineage. <clears throat> About uh, about 20 years ago, I, I went. my wife and I went to this very exclusive uh, clinic in Southern California called the Center for Optimal Health. They did a full workup, body scan, all the blood work, all the panels, and they also did a DNA test. And I came back with my DNA test. I've got what's called an IL-1 gene, which means I am chronically inflamed. And as we all know, that's really bad for health, right? You know, the inflammation is the start of all, the beginning of all disease. And so I'm going, oh gosh, you know, I kind of got this thing and what's going on. So I really, really doubled down on my health protocol. One of the, one of the uh, uh, results of having that inflammation is that I've always had slightly elevated cholesterol. Cholesterol is part of the healing response of the body. It's got to take in such a huge rap, you know, and yeah. we, can, we can go down as deep as you want on that. But um, I've always had slightly elevated cholesterol. So I did the research and I, I determined a long time ago, I was never going to go on a statin drug. 
because they're toxic to the liver. They cause muscle wasting. Uh, I just posted a study on our website, right? Mm -hmm. Terrible. Uh, The one hundred percent increase of dementia for people that are taking certain statin drugs. So I'd had multiple conversations with my doctor. I said I'll never go on a statin drug. But I was always so I once I got that that result about the IL-1 gene, I really doubled down. So I'm taking all my supplements. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Uh, I work out five days a week, like hard, like target heart rate, you know, train hard. I do all the things right. And, um, you know, my doc would always kind of say, well, you know, you're elevated. Your cholesterol is slightly elevated. And I'd say, save your breath. I'm not going to take any statins. But I was concerned. Hey, I don't care about cholesterol, but I do care. Do I have plaques? And yeah. I learned doing my research, I learned about this thing called the coronary artery calcium scan. And um, and I went, you know what? I should go get one of those tests. And they just take a CAT scan of your heart and it shows whether you have calcified arteries. And I said, I should go get one of those. Typical male, I apologize. I hauled off and did nothing because truthfully, I was afraid to find out, you know, no right. news is good news kind of thing. Right. Uh, but you can call it God. You can call it Google's algorithm. You can call it the universe, whatever you want. I got a, an email from Groupon. Honest to God, wow. from Groupon saying coronary artery calcium scan test, 50 bucks. <laughs> Come on, Tara, what am I going to do? Okay, so I bought the Groupon, went and had the test. I was 56 years old at the time. The test results came back. It said I had the arteries of a 70-year-old. Okay, I was in the 50 to 75 percentile, meaning I was worse than the average 56-year-old male. Okay, so here I am. I take all these natural supplements. I eat clean. I exercise like an animal. I don't drink. I don't smoke. And I'm worse than the average 56-year-old. And can we admit that the average 56-year-old, their health is atrocious, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, what the heck? You know, what right. else can I do? I have my little pity party for a minute. Totally. And then I delve back into doing research and I change the focus on, are there natural ways to dissolve arterial plaques? And Tara, it was crazy, the stuff I found, because there's all of this research out there, I'm talking published papers, uh, talking about natural enzymes, natto kinase, which comes from uh, fermented soybeans, a food called natto in Japan. Um, they, they've been consuming natto in Japan for a, a thousand years, and they have the lowest incidence of cardiovascular disease in the industrialized world. I'm going, oh, that's interesting. There's an enzyme called natto kinase. They discovered it in the 60s. There's all these published studies. Uh, go on a 26-week oral dose of natto kinase and plaques are dissolved. They are diminished 37%. Wow. I'm like, what? You wow. take this enzyme and in, in six months, just an oral enzyme, you have a 37% reduction in plaque? Why isn't this on the front page of the New York right. Times? Like, what's going And we all know the answer, right? Yeah. Uh, I learned about serapeptase, which was discovered in the University of Chicago in the 1980s. Again, all this evidence, strong anti-inflammatory, uh, fibrolinate, meaning it dissolves fibrin, which is one of the major components of cardiovascular disease. It's, it's a protein in, in plaques. Anyway, I, I started learning about D3, vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 and how they facilitate you know, the proper placement of calcium in our body. And it actually came from studies with postmenopausal women. They're having osteoporosis. They're falling down, breaking their hips. And so they said, well, gosh, these women aren't getting enough calcium. So we should give them calcium supplements. Well, then they started getting clogged, clogged arteries and they started getting gallstones and kidney stones. And then the geniuses said, well, gee, we should give them some D3 so they can absorb the calcium better. And they got worse placking. And then finally, somebody put together that you need K2. And K2 makes it, D3 increases the absorption of calcium in our gut, but K2 is critical that that calcium gets deposited in our bones and teeth, not in our soft tissues. Anyway, long this uh, long story, I, I put together a little protocol just on my own. I said, I'm going to I'm take these two different enzymes. I'm going to take these vitamins and I'll try it for a year and see if maybe I get some, uh, get some relief. And I said, you know, I'll do it for 12 months. Well, COVID hit, you know, so everything was shut down. So I couldn't go for testing again. It was about 18 months later. I was in my doctor's office and he said, hey, Mike, you know, you got this cholesterol thing and I know you're not going to go on a statin drug, but hey, there's a test called the coronary artery calcium scan. He was clueless. He did not know that I had a baseline. He was uh, completely unaware. So I just kind of played dumb and I went, oh yeah, I've heard about those tests. I, yeah, I'd like to get one of those. <laughs> So he, he he orders the test. I go take it. Two days later, I get a text on my cell phone from my doctor. Well, I don't know about you, but my doctor does not text me, right? right. You know, the office does. The receptionist, hey, your appointment is confirmed. This is from him going, Mike, I just got your test results back and they're perfect. 
Your calcium score is zero. This is unbelievable. Excellent. All capital letters. He goes, you know, like with your heart, with your history and, and, you know, your inflammation and your, I mean, this, your cholesterol, this is fantastic. So I texted him back. Is that pretty good? He goes, no, it's great. I said, you want to see my original test? He's like, what? So we ended up getting on the phone and I showed him my first test results and the second and his words, he goes, this is a miracle. This is medically impossible. There is nothing in, in modern medicine that you can dissolve calcium deposits out of your heart. Like, how did you do this? And so I sent him all of my research. I had this big file on my computer with all of these studies and all this information. And I sent it to him and in his credit, he read it. Mm. Turns out he had a coronary artery calcium score of 800. So he was very sick and everybody in his family had died of heart disease. And he's like, wow, he goes, I should go on this protocol. I go, heck yeah, I should go on this protocol. 12 months later, he phones my cell phone. I was on my way to the gym. He goes, Mike, I just got my test results back. He goes, I haven't even told my wife yet. He said, I had another coronary uh, scan and my my calcium score went from 800 down to 200. So I've had a 75% reduction in calcium in one year, which is impossible. Like that's, <laughs> you can't do that. And I had an angiogram and I have no soft plaques at all. So all the soft plaques are gone and the hard plaques are diminished by 75%. He goes, you know, these are his words. I obviously can't use these words, but he said, you cured my cardiovascular disease. He goes, my whole life has changed. He goes, this is unbelievable. So obviously now it's a moral imperative. And, you know, what do I do with this information? So, you know, I, I went back and forth to, to counsel from a lot of different people and uh, filed for a patent and that's got accepted right now. So we're in the patent pending process. Uh, it's called a process patent, just meaning all of these different components are out there, but we put it together in a unique way. And uh, I, I managed to get a, a really good lab out in Atlanta, Georgia, NSF certified, GMP certified, just the best of the best. And they custom blended this protocol, exactly what I followed, exactly what my doctor followed. And we launched it and we, we, we made it available to people. That's how I met Barton. We had, a, we had an event together and he was talking about what he's doing and I was fascinated and I, and I started taking upgraded formulas and I bought his stuff and he got fascinated with what I'm doing because we all have the same heart, which right. is to heal and help people and right. and really to kind of to combat the lies and the misinformation right. of us out there. So that's kind of in a nutshell how it happened. And, and now it's just it's just kind of blowing my mind how this whole thing is expanding and growing and and we're getting all kinds of other levels. And no doubt we'll get into that, but it's not just cardiovascular disease. There's studies now that and I've got them here on my desk that these two enzymes show a 100% dissolution of the plaques associated with Alzheimer's disease. Um, the, I've got a, a, a paper here that's written by Dr. Peter, co-authored by Dr. Peter McCullough, uh, who's like a rock star right now for what yeah. he's doing and helping people. Totally. And he's naming the exact enzymes in our blend for battling long COVID and people that were injured by the vaccine, that these enzymes degrade and kill the spike protein, that dissolve the spike protein, which is causing all the inflammation. So there's so many different ramifications. It's just kind of wild what's going on. I love this so much. I, I imagine you and Barton at that event and it just like warms my heart because this is the world that I find myself in, like in the more holistic, it's just like really passionate people who usually just wanted to feel better themselves. And then found something incredible, had their friends and family try it, saw like, oh my gosh, this is actually really incredible. Okay. I'm going to have to show up to the plate here. And that's, those are the conversations you have. It's like, everyone is so excited about what they found and they just want to help, you know, and that's now you guys can see why I had to have Mike on the show, because that is an incredible find. And I want to go, I love that you're like, <laughs> all I did was get on Google and there was like a bunch of information already out there. And that's like, kind of sums up how it feels sometimes with like, uh, I'm like, wait, we have so much information on much healthier ways to heal these things. And like, it's, it's studied, it's researched, it's proven. And we're still doing that old route of all these medications that have all these harmful side effects. Um, I'm curious that speaking of medications, I'm curious, you know, cause now I know that you've had people using your products and are like telling you about what they're experiencing. I mean, I don't know if you can, how much in depth you can go to this, but like I, my mind is definitely going to like, have there been people who were on statins who were able to get off statins? Like what, what have your uh, customer experiences been like with this? Yeah, that's a great question. 
And as you know, we have to be very mindful about, yeah. hey, we're not doctors. We can't give medical right. advice. So people will contact me on a regular basis and they say, I, I'm on this, that, and the other thing. I go, look, uh -huh. I can't talk to you. I can't give you any right. advice because I'm not a doctor. It's illegal. It's called practicing right. it's medicine. It's up to you. Without... It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> but what I do do is tell them to, we have many, many physicians office that are now stocking this in their office oh, for their patients. Awesome. Yeah, it's nice. wonderful. And so I kind of try and revert yeah. them back to their doctor and say, that's a doctor question. Right. And and even if they're not working with one of these physicians, what I can tell them is that many physicians are utilizing this protocol in conjunction with a drug therapy. And many of those people are now experiencing it so that they can wean off of those very strong <laughs> medications because this is dealing with the root problem. And really, Tara, if, if, I, if you indulge me, just so that people understand how this works, because people don't understand how these plaques form. Um, it's really, it's so phenomenal how our bodies are made, right? Um, but the, the beginning of it all is inflammation and our, that's a healing response. So there's something happens in our bloodstream. My gosh, there's so many toxins. It's ridiculous, right? Air that we breathe, water that we drink, food. Oh my gosh. I mean, Everywhere. how many people are eating this dead diet of processed food? There's no enzymes. There haven't been enzymes in it. Right. <laughs> right? It's horrible for them. Right. And so it causes, it causes a, 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 an inflammation inside of their arteries. Well, our body responds to that by, by sending cholesterol to that site. And I liken it to spackle in a dented drywall. You know, you put a hole in the drywall, you put a little bit of spackle over there, kind of smooths it over and it makes it okay. It's like nature's bandaid. Mm -hmm. Well, if we lived back in the times where we had feast or famine, and there were times where we were going into famine, our bodies would go into the state called autophagy, which right. is it breaks down in auto self phage eat our body eats itself. So these kind of these byproducts of metabolism, like like a cholesterol plaque would get consumed, and it would get degraded and reprocessed to its amino acids rebuilt into eyes and ears and lungs and muscles it would be awesome. Well, we don't live in autophagy and we live in fasting. So that, that plaque forms there, the next thing our body does is it sends a, fi a, a, a protein called fibrin. And if you look at it under a microscope, it looks like a spider web. It's a very thin uh, uh, string-like protein. And it binds over that, that cholesterol to kind of think it, uh, about keeping it in place. We just want to mm -hmm. build this Band-Aid there. Again, if it dissolved in a couple of days, it'd be no issue, but we're chronically inflamed. So we got layers of cholesterol, layers of fibrin, layers of cholesterol, layers of fibrin, and we get this thick placking inside of our, inside of our arteries and cholesterol is a thick waxy fat. So it's very sticky and calcium starts to stick there. So we get calcification in our arteries, atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. Right. So what what this protocol does, you know, so people are on all of these drugs, statin drugs. And I was talking to somebody the other day who had a cholesterol of 140, 140, which is on the low end. Yet they had a coronary event. And so they put them on cholesterol drugs. They put them on statin <laughs> drugs. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but inside <laughs> my head wants to explode. Right? It's like, <laughs> And the, all of the negative side effects, the muscle wasting, the, right. you know, I mean, it's just mind boggling to me. And, and, and I'm not mocking those doctors. That's all they know. That's, I was talking to a physician the other day. He goes, do you know how much training I got in med school on nutrition? I said, no, he has said 45 minutes. Wow. I had 45 minutes of training on nutrition. No, Hippocrates, you know, Hippocratic oath. He went back in the Greek times. He said, food is medicine. The number one thing we put in our body is food. And right. so we should be mindful of that. Anyway, it's crazy. So I get reports all the time. I had a, a report from a registered nurse. Uh, she phoned me up and we were chatting. And when she started the protocol, she was on two blood pressure medications. She started the protocol. Uh, and pretty soon she'd take her blood meds and she'd feel kind of lightheaded. And she was, oh my God, my blood pressure is too low. So she dropped 150%. This, she did this on her own because she's a registered nurse. She dropped 150%, felt a little bit better. A few months later, she got completely off of that first blood pressure medication. A few months later, she dropped the other one 50%. So now she's been on the protocol for 12 months. And one blood pressure medication, she dropped just completely 100%. The other one's wow. down 50%. So it's a 75% reduction in her in her blood pressure meds. That's the kind of stuff that we see. And it's there, there's no contraindications so that, you know, oh, if you take this, it's bad, it, you know, it's bad for those, you know, in its interactions with those other drug therapies. Now, if you go on the web, and I've read this, you know, they'll say, well, you know, if you take these enzymes and you're on a blood thinner, you need to be really mindful because these enzymes are blood thinners. And I understand what they're saying, but that's technically not true. 
In fact, I just had a conversation two weeks ago with a pref- professor of medicine from New York City. And he goes, you're exactly right, Mike. He, he takes nine of these enzymes every day from our plant. And so he is taking a mega dose because he has wow. a, a coronary event. But he did a lot of research. And he goes, Mike, these are not blood thinners. A person could take a whole bottle every day. And it's not going to have a negative side effect on them. He goes, these are blood cleaners. And what they do is they go and they clean that 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 metabolic waste. Mm. And that metabolic waste that we all have, it starts to build up in the form of plaques, in the form of fibrin, in the form of cysts in our brain. Gosh, Tara, I've had multiple women right now that were scheduled for fibroid surgery. And they did the ultrasound before the surgery. Only problem was the fibroids were gone. Wow. Which, when you think about it, why does a woman get a fibroid in her uterus? We're not, that shouldn't, that should, that's not how we're made. That's not how it's supposed to work. Mm-hmm. Well, it's an accumulation of fibrin in the muscle tissue. Mm-hmm. And amazingly, you take some fibrolytic enzymes, which is what our blend is, dissolves fibrin. And gosh, those fibroids are gone. Can I say that our enzymes did that? No, the body did that. The body healed itself. But these put things in place so that the body could heal itself. Just mm-hmm. like with the cardiovascular plaques, just like with with plaques and amyloid plaques in the brain, it, it's 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 just remarkable what's happening. Yeah, I mean that's you're like summarizing in a nutshell the mentality of more holistic, integrative, functional medicine versus Western medicine. We're asking what is actually going on, and can we heal it so it's no longer an issue? Amen. Like not medicate. Right. The, the, the medications are the band-aids on the band-aids. It's like, well, what, why do what, why is my body making its own band-aids and can I help it not have to have so many band-aids instead of sticking another band-aid on a band-aid that also has a bunch of negative fallout in my body. Amen. I want to recap a little bit because I mean, you kind of cover You did cover this already, but in case people, you know, just so, cause they're unfamiliar, like in this protocol you're talking about, it's two different bottles, right? Yep. So there's an enzyme blend that has those proteolytic enzymes. And then there's the vitamin D3 and K2. And can you just summarize again, like why you want them to take like with the functions of each, cause there's, yep. we've got the natokinase and the, how do you say it? Serapeptase. Oh yeah. Serapeptase. Okay. Yep. And the D3 and K2, like what each of those do and like clarifying the. Absolutely. What, yeah. Uh, it's very important. Um, first of all, each of those individual items on their own are strong anti-inflammatories. Okay. Serapeptase, uh, not, to, and there's, uh, this is not my opinion. All the studies are on the website. Yeah. Gosh, in Europe, they use ser- serapeptase post-surgery instead of NSAID drugs, you really? know, Motrin or ibuprofen. They go, wow. you go get your wisdom taken out. They give you a prescription for serapeptase really? because it, it is clinically shown to reduce inflammation as effectively as the NSAID reduces the pain as much, but it's not hard on your gut. So there's no negative side effects, wow. right? So uh, both serapeptase, natokinase, D3 and K2, a lot of, a lot of the alternative health people, well, Certain doctors were saying during COVID, man, increase your D3, increase your D3 to boost your immune system. It's anti-inflammatory. It's good for your lungs, good for your nasal pass, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, mm-hmm. all four of those individual components are strong anti-inflammatories. Together, okay. synergistically, they're really profound anti-inflammatories. So the first thing we do is, hey, let's calm down the inflammation so that nice. your body's not sending cholesterol and plaques all over the place, okay? Mm-hmm. The next thing that happens is those, those enzymes, serapeptase and natokinase, and, and just let you know, I've had many people say, well, why don't you add this enzyme? And why don't you add that enzyme? Mm-hmm. And there's one called mm-hmm. lumbrokinase, and it's very, very expensive. And the, the kind of, uh, I, I've seen anecdotal reports that go, oh, it's hundreds of times more potent than mm-hmm. the natokinase or serapeptase. And it's one of those things where you read that same quote over and over again, but I couldn't find one study wow. that actually proved it. Wow. And I couldn't find one study that showed lumbrokinase dissolved arterial plaques. So wow. why make it more expensive? If Sounds you know, like somebody was trying to sell that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, just, I just couldn't see the need for it. I mean, gosh, right. I dissolved my plaques to nothing. <laughs> what more do we need, right? Right. Anyway, so so those enzymes go in and they dissolve the fibrin in those plaques. The plaques in our in our heart, the plaques in... It, uh, man, I'll tell you a story about a lady who had blockages in her legs. It'll blow your mind. But uh, so, so it dissolves those plaques. 
And then the D3 and the K2 are critical that if you do have calcification, not only are they anti-inflammatory, good for your immune system, but they transport that calcium away from the soft tissue and back into your bones and your teeth. So I got so many people where their calcium score is dropping, I mean, dramatically. And, and so the good news is that you're not excreting that calcium. It's going into your bones. It's going into your teeth. So you're getting stronger, denser bones. And that's proven through studies. It's not just my opinion. That's what the studies say. You take D3 and K2, your, your bone density improves. You know, those are, again, those osteoporosis studies. So it's just kind of one of those wonderful things, how profound and amazing our body is, that we can take this thing that is really, I mean, calcified arteries, that's no bueno, right? I mean, right. That's bad, right? Because you've lost all the flexibility and there's hard and they're stiff. Never mind a of course, your blood pressure is going to go up because there's less space for blood in your blood vessels. They're filled with all these calcified plaques. So it takes that out. And actually, you get healthier. Your bones are better. Your teeth are better. So it's one of those things that was meant for our harm is now for our good. You know, we're back to where we're supposed to be. So those are the, the, the kind of the components of the protocol. It's so profoundly simple. I have conversations with right. physicians and doctors and health practitioners. They go, wait a second. You're saying you, you just take these enzymes and these vitamins and that's it i go yeah that's it that's the protocol uh, and very simply uh you take the enzymes because they're enzymatic you take them on an empty stomach so my wife and i and like all my kids use these my my daughter she's 30 years old she had carpal tunnel syndrome well she took the enzymes and it went away because it calmed all the inflammation it just makes total sense wow. right but we we keep them right on our bathroom counter so first thing in the morning i mean before i do anything pop an enzyme with a little bit of water on an empty stomach uh Hey, if I don't eat breakfast, I'll, I'll I'll fast, you know, a little bit longer. But for those that do eat breakfast, just wait, you know, wait 30, 40 minutes until you have a meal. Because we don't want those enzymes, you know, acting on the food. We want them acting on the plaques. They are enteric coated, so they're meant to bypass the gut and be absorbed in the small nice. intestine. But still, I mean, let's let's just make it maximum efficacy. So you take some enzymes in an empty stomach. Uh, D3 and K2 are both fat soluble. So take them with food. Take them with, the, you know, when you when you break your fast, when you have a meal, take your take your your vitamins. And then for me, we also take another enzyme last thing at night, right before bed. So I do an enzyme in the morning, an enzyme at night. If people don't want to do that, they can do two in the morning or they can do two at night. Doesn't matter, whatever their preference is. I like it so it's a, you know, a sustained mm -hmm. level in my bloodstream all the time. Mm -hmm. And then I take the uh, the D3 and the K2 with a meal. And that's that's it. That is the protocol. And you go, oh, and by the way, Tara, I mean, just to make it even more ridiculous, the monthly cost of the enzymes is 35 bucks a month and the vitamins are 15 bucks a month. I mean, right. so super <laughs> affordable. It's yeah. super affordable. And 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 I've started 37 different companies. OK, this this one is a passion project for me. And I had so many experts tell me, Mike. You're not charging enough, man. Are you kidding me? If you can, if you can demonstrably show that plaques are being dissolved and people are getting healed and all this, oh my God, what is that worth? Well, it's worth a lot, but it's also worth a lot for people that are economically disadvantaged. And I want it to be available to anybody who wants it, because in my opinion, anybody who wants to can come up with 35 bucks a month, right? You know, mm -hmm. cut out McDonald's or Starbucks or this, you know, a mm -hmm. couple of times and you're there. Um, so I want them to have buy-in so that, they, you know, so that they, so they're buying it, but I want it to be really, really available to everybody. I love that. I love that. I love that you have the background in business to be able to create this thing that you found, you know, and like really yeah. be able to bring it to the forefront for people. And yeah, I know when Barton, he sent me your website and I just quickly ordered it after just reading a little bit about it because it was so affordable, you know? Yep. Yep. And I was like, um, I was, I thought about that. I was like, this is a price. I actually thought that I was like, this is a price point where people will actually order it. Yes. And that matters. Sure. It is. Because if you go to see, and I, I understand that, you know, different ingredients, not all supplements can make themselves affordable depending on what they're putting in there. Like that other ingredient you were talking about, it's like, well, crap, now we have to yep. charge a lot, which is another reason not to put that in there besides the yep. fact that there's no data backing it. <laughs> but, um, you know, there is, that is such a important factor is like, can pe will people actually do this or not? If you really want to help, you know, and that's sure. like me too, is like, okay, well, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is kind of expensive. So what can I offer to people for a very affordable rate so I can still help, you know? So I appreciate that, that yeah. like energy. Yeah. Um, uh, your website has some really awesome education because I, I mean, please, if you're listening to this, send this to like your parents or aunts and uncles or grandma or what, you know, like any, you know, even younger, like, you know, 42, I'm 41, like, 
that was your grandpa, your mom's dad mm -hmm. that passed away. I'm like, yep. man, like Crazy. I still got little ones, you know, like mm -hmm. that is and look so at, even look younger. At now. Look at now all these people from COVID. I mean, we've got 19 year old LeBron James son just had a heart attack. He's 19 years old. It's right? happening like crazy. My son, he's like basically what I ho hopefully he's okay with me sharing this, but like ever since he got COVID and he got slammed really hard, he lost his taste and smell for a year. We didn't know if it was ever going to come back. We're trying everything, you know, um, um, all of a sudden his heart rate, he's just doing nothing. And his heart rate will just go over like 200 beats a minute. You yeah. know, we had to pull him out of football over it. Cause it was like, I'm not going to have you <laughs> practicing and your heart rate is going crazy like that. And you're like, Oh, I don't want to be a sissy and stop like, no. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, we've got him, we've got him on this now. Um, we'll see how it goes. We kind of, you know, we haven't, he hasn't been doing it that long, but, um, yeah, for long COVID. I mean, obviously I can't say, but I am noticing I like just people I know directly are like my kid, my 20 year old, my 17 year old, my 22 year old is having all this, you know, irregular heart action and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely something to send anybody. I, I this can, episode I, is something to send for those. People I can too. give you a little testimony that I just got. Uh, this is a mm. gentleman by the name of Alpernia and he's the chairman of a, a group called the Functional Health Alliance. It's over 3,000 medical clinics, alternative clinics across the country. The guy's been doing it for 20 years. He's a biochemist by, by background, but he's mm -hmm. super, super passionate about changing the health industry and giving alternative choices and all that kind of stuff. He, he's got three clinics in Beverly Hills. And mm -hmm. um, nice. he got slammed by COVID. Ended up mm -hmm. in UCLA Hospital, seven days in ICU. Didn't oh, take wow. the vaccine, but just got hammered. Right. And after that, he would have pressure in his heart. These he's had these episodes. You know, he said it was four or five times a day, crushing pain, intense pressure. He wow. was convinced he was having a heart attack. Ended up in the emergency room twice. Wow. And they say, no, you're not having a heart attack. But he go, like, what's going on? He was convinced wow. it was the long COVID. Mm -hmm. And he goes, Mike, I'm the I'm the chairman of the Functional Health Alliance. He goes, I tried every therapy that there is. And I might, you know, some didn't work at all. Some might give me a respite for a couple of days and would just come back. He goes, the only thing I changed is I went on your protocol. Wow. And within four days, it stopped. I, and I've never had another one since and that's six months now. And I was just chatting with him last week and he's going, uh, it, it, it was remarkable. And I said, well, Al, it, w it wasn't just placebo effect. Here's the study. I mean, here's the information. Right. I, I, I told you that this would help, but it wasn't my opinion. The studies back it up. These enzymes dissolve the spike protein. They degrade the spike protein. And wow. I, it's kind of funny, Tara, because like to me, uh, like Dr. Peter McCullough, you know, he's a rock star now for, right. for his totally. courage. And he's the mm -hmm. most published cardiologist on planet Earth. Who's ever, like he's been more published in more journals uh, than anybody wow. who's ever lived or anybody who is alive. And wow. his courageousness when he was fighting against all the COVID mm -hmm. stuff and testifying before Congress and the Senate, mm -hmm. I just... I have such admiration for him, but the inside joke is here. I am a little businessman and I, I you know, I, I was learning and studying about this stuff, you know, four and a half years ago. And I, I saw him a couple months ago and it's just like, yeah, I'm glad you finally caught up, Peter. You know, you're finally catching up you know, <laughs> to, to what I knew years ago. Hey, thanks for the paper, but I could have told you that, man. You know? Oh, that's awesome. And do cute. you have, do you have that research on your website? Like the I spike do. protein research? Yes, cool. I do. Yeah. Awesome. And for those people that, that are like you and like me, that people that like to, you know, roll up their sleeves and dig into it, uh, you go, there's a tab called the Learning Center and there's a bunch of videos from me. They're just short and to the mm -hmm. point, but scroll right down to the bottom and there's links to all of these different studies. In nice. fact, I'll tell you a, a, a quick story. I've had two people that have texted me at like, oh, dark 30 in the middle of the night, you know, one thirty two <laughs> in the morning. One was Dr. Hal Newball. Hal is, uh, was graduate from Harvard Medical School. Uh, he was a professor of medicine at Johns Hopkins. Uh, he was nominated for a Nobel Prize in medicine. Wow. And and I've known Hal for many years, and he was on the website, and I got a text at, you know, 1.30 in the morning, OMG, you know, Mike, holy cow. I just watch all of your videos. I read every single one of the studies, and my brain is just exploding. He goes, you are light years ahead of everybody. Wow. And I thought, well, that's encouraging to my heart, you know, <laughs> right. guys nominated for Nobel Prize in medicine. <laughs> I got a, another one uh, from Dr. Ron Tillis. And he was number one at his class at Berkeley Medical School. I mean, Berkeley, come on. You know, the guy's a genius. Mm -hmm. And uh, same same story. You know, uh, I've known him for years and and he found out about what we're doing. And it's the same thing. You know, 1.30 in the morning, he sends me a tech. He goes, Mike, 
I mean, my, I'm just blown away. He goes, this makes so much sense. He goes, you really, you're really, really onto something here. And of course he's on the protocol. His family's on the protocol. You know, Dr. Newball is referring people to me all the time. You need to get on Mike's protocol. It's, you know, in fact, one of the guys he just referred to me, uh, he did five months on the protocol. He lives in Reno. Uh, his cardiologist is in San Francisco because he's very wealthy, can afford to go anywhere he wants. So he's got the best cardiologist at, you know, in San Francisco and he had a 70% reduction in his plaques in five months. Five 70. months, 70. Wow. And his cardiologist is just, you know, as, as a lady and her brain is just melting down. It's just like, how, what did you do? And he go, oh, I went on this protocol, just these little natural enzymes, you know, as I'm like, she goes, wow. like that's impossible. Well, you're looking at the tests. You wow. know, what can you say? And he got referred by Dr. Newball who's nominated for a Nobel prize in medicine. So it's not like I'm some crazy alternative, you know, right. in, you know, nut case. There's some <laughs> very, very smart people that are taking the time to actually read this, this data. And they're going, Holy cow, you're right. So it's just really encouraging to my heart and to everybody else, you know, who has a desire to learn. We're not That's alone. Awesome. We're not nut jobs. This is some, this is some pretty cutting edge stuff, but it's very simple to understand. Mm. I appreciate you taking the time to come on here because it's, it's one like, like I immediately sent your website to my dad. Right. I'm like, watch these videos. I don't know if you watch the videos. I, so sure. I appreciate you taking time to come on here because it's like, it's, please share this with your people that you love and care about. Cause it's a easy, you've laid it all out here. We have data. We have studies. We have not just for, uh, you know, arterial plaques, but also for COVID stuff. You have data to back it up. You have, yeah. Uh, really impressive doctors supporting what you're doing. And it's awesome. And it's kind of cool that it's private and you can just order it on a website. And so for 50 bucks, you got both products and you're good to go. And you don't have to go into the doctor. You can do, you maybe get a Groupon for your scan. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can go <laughs> there's, into a There's doctor. a website called mdsaves.com and you can do little searches for cardiovascular scans <laughs> and get a coupon. It's kind of like good RX. And so a lot of people go right. that and they find in their area. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. Wow. Wow. You know, I always say with the, with the healthcare system, I personally am not trying to be David and Goliath. I'm right. just like, I'm going to go over here and present an, uh, a more optimal path. If however I can in my own area and that when it works and actually helps people, like people will just start to gravitate towards that versus like, I mean, I don't know, maybe you can get into, maybe you might have, you might have the connections and the ability to be able to actually get in there and make some change. But for me, I'm like, well, let's just go this way and let's just go over here. <laughs> oh, I wish. Um, <laughs> hey, look, I am very mindful of the big power that are out yeah. there, what they do. <laughs> and I, in no way, shape or form, do I want to, <laughs> You know, rub their face in anything or put them down or <laughs> look, I am grateful for lots and lots of things right. about, you know, Western medicine. For if sure, I'm in too. a car accident and I smash my body to bits, right. I want to go to the trauma center. Absolutely. You know, uh, you know <laughs> a bunch of this systemic stuff though. Um, hey, I'm all about, Hey, if we can get our body to heal itself, be right. preventative. And so a lot of people think, well, my God, I don't need this thing. I'm not old. I don't have coronary artery disease. Well, do you want to get it? I mean, get, use this preventatively. It just right. cleans up the me metabolic junk in our in our bodies. Um, it is obviously people think I'm biased, but truthfully, I believe everybody should be on this protocol. I mean, just clean up the metabolic junk in your in your system through these enzymes. You know, increase your your immunity through D3. I just read an article this morning from Dr. McCola on his site talking about D3, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. like, man, people are so deficient in vitamin D. You need so bad. It really big dose. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of all of those upsides and no negative downsides. But yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to poke the bear. And, and, you know, I, I have great respect for these physicians, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. do have a cognitive bias. And yeah. that is they they live in a bubble and all they've been taught is a certain view of how things work. Right. And my greatest contention is, well, my highest value is truth. Let's just get the truth to people. But whose responsibility is your health? Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't your doctors. It's right. your, it's your responsibility. Right. And don't abdicate it. And if you do abdicate it, say, well, my doctor said, okay, well, that's fine. Up to you. But for you and I, and lots of us were like, Hey, my doctor is my health partner, but ultimately I'm the CEO and I'm, I make the decisions. I will take his advice and I will, you know, give it the weight that it's due. 
But ultimately, the decision is mine because I have to deal with the consequences. So I have huge respect for people that are willing to roll up your sleeves and let's mm-hmm. let's start learning some stuff. Yeah, we're the type of people when they say there's nothing you can do about it. We're like, I'm good. Dad, <laughs> I'm going to be the one who yep. figures out that there is <laughs> Amen. wrong answer. <laughs> Which is what you did. And I really, yeah. really appreciate it. And I'll keep you posted how this goes with my son as he continues yeah, to take this. Cool. And um, I'll definitely be recommending your products to a lot of my closest people. You know what I mean? Like it's, sure. this is a go-to for me now. And I appreciate that. And you guys offered a 10% off coupon for people, which is yep, super yep. nice because it's already very folks. affordable. Yep. For so, uh, Coach Tara. So if they go on the website, there's a little disc, you know, to get to the checkout, little discount coach. So just put in Coach Tara. And it's not a one-time 10%. It's a perpetual 10%. Awesome. So every, I, obviously I recommend, this is not Drano. It's not, you take once, you get on the protocol. Right. And so every month they order, they're going to get that 10% discount. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. All pleasure. right. We will go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you. This is Thanks, so Tara. cool. Appreciate I'm so you. excited to share this episode with people. So appreciate your time. Aloha. Aloha.